everyone, and welcome to part 145 of Laravel Online series in which we are getting the multi vendor e commerce website. So, we will continue working on the uh, orders in the admin panel and we are going to manage the order item status in this video. In the last video, I have shown you that we are going to manage the two types of order status here one is the complete order status, and the another one is the order item status. So complete order status is, is managed by the admin, but the order item status can be managed by the admin or the vendor. Okay, so we have seen the order detail status here. Okay, this one is the complete order status and from here the admin can able to update the status whatever he want. Like the if the item is partially shipped, he can able to update it to partially shipped from here. And you can see the complete order status has been updated to partially shipped. But we require here the item status as well because that we require because every vendor uh, is going to ship his own item. So maybe these two items belong to the one vendor or maybe to the another one. So vendors is going to manage his item status separately for every item, for every order item that the customer is going to buy. Okay, so for that we are going to make one more column here uh, for item status and uh, in that we are going to show uh, like uh, uh, all the statuses uh, that the vendor can able to update for the order items okay so we are going to create one more table here like we have created the order statuses table we are going to create one more table like the order underscore item statuses table okay so that table we are going to create and there are two ways to create the table i have already told you one is from the migration and another one simply from the php my admin and this time we are going to import are you going to create from the php my admin okay so very easy way i'm going to export this table okay and uh, we'll import it after making the changes it will save a lot of our time okay so i'm going to open this one i'm going to close earlier files and i'm going to open this uh, uh, new uh, order statuses table i'm going to make the new order statuses table here okay so i'm going to create here the new table uh, i'm going to uh, make it name like order underscore item statuses okay or order underscore item underscore statuses this is the name and here uh, also i'm going to insert the few of the item status okay everywhere uh, we can simply update to order item status okay so now uh, what we are going to do the few status we are going to add like uh, we're going to add the pending new will come for the whole order and in process in process we are going to add and here we are going to add shipped here uh, we are going to add the deliver okay the rest of the status you can add off your own as per your own requirement okay so here we're going to make it one two three four okay so this one we're going to manage it like this order item statuses id and here auto increment will start from one and we're going to remove this one commit will also remove and i'm going to save this file and I'm going to import this file so that our new table will get ready and here we are going to import this one the modified sql file and here uh, let's see uh we get our new item status table order item status uh let's see we have the table here but some of the things it is saying okay no issue we are going to see the table once order item statuses and this one is fine uh but it unable to uh, Im uh that uh, uh it enable to insert uh here okay but we are going to do it like this also see because it is not inserting here is the comma so that's why okay so that's why it is not uh, inserting here is the issue but we can also insert from here uh, like this okay so now we are going to go and our uh, I uh, see status has come up for the order item okay so also we are going to create the model okay we are going to create the model here php artisan make model model for this uh, table and that model name we're going to keep it like order item status model okay this is the model name and now we are going to modify this one here we are going to add the item status and with the form okay so we are going to modify the order detail uh, blade file that is located in the admin not at the front admin okay i'm going to close this file and here uh i'm going to add one more column here item status item status 
and here also uh, I'm going to add one more here we are going to manage the item status okay here I'm going to copy the form that will save our time okay this one is for uh, managing the complete order status and we are going to copy here and we'll make changes so it will save a lot of our time okay and here we are going to keep this one and here we are going to make a update order item status okay uh, like this and here also uh, it will come order item id not order id order item id from order item id we are going to update and here not order details here we are using the product uh, this is the product array order product array okay and here uh, here we are going to have that order item status that we are going to uh, fetch okay and this one we are going to use this one here instead of order details uh, we are uh, going to have here the product okay here the product we are going to have uh, in both the places product and this one uh, we are going to manage here item status instead of this one here the item status will come okay sorry item status okay item underscore status so one thing we need to do there i'm going to uh, mention uh, see here uh, in the order products uh, we need to add one column item status so there are uh, two ways to add the column in the table one is from the migration that we have done in the beginning of the series we have done in the earlier series e-commerce series uh, that advanced e-commerce series basic e-commerce series you can follow any of the uh, those videos you can search in my youtube channel and you will get it very easily okay and the another way is the simple way that uh, you can add one more column here because we require one more column here in the orders underscore products table we require the item status column okay uh, for managing the item wise status uh, for every order okay so here uh, we are going to add here the item status and that we are going to add after the product quantity so after product quantity we are going to add one column here item status worker okay fine okay, fine hmm. okay so now uh, this status uh, once the user will update here then we are going to add its status is its item status we are going to add here okay so now what we are going to do we are going to fetch all the status here we are going to show here so for that i'm going to update the order uh, controller here and in admin and here like we have the order status uh, we are going to add here the order item status as well order item status make sure we have this model this model is yeah this one is fine order item status and here uh, like we have the order statuses we are going to have the order item statuses as well order item statuses okay here also we are going to mention order item statuses okay and this one we are going to send uh, going to pass going to return to our order detail blade file here okay and so that we can able to show all the statuses here so we're going to check once and here refresh we have already added the item status and you can see here the item status that we have added earlier uh, is showing all the statuses that we have added here uh, in our order item status table four statuses pending in process shipped and delivered and these are mentioned here Man pending in process shipped and delivered okay all the item status are coming here in our admin panel so once we will click on update then the status must also get updated but for that uh, we are going to create its route update order item status in web.php file here we are going to create the new route here uh, like we have created there uh, here we are going to create update order item status route and here uh, up order controller update order item status we are going to match it like this update order item status like this okay so uh, here we are going to create this function as well like we have created uh, for updating the order status here we are going to copy this one because it is almost same and here the difference is we are going to update the item status this time 
instead of the complete order status we are going to update the uh, order item status okay update order item status and here uh, we need to mention the orders product because we are going to update status for every product of the ordered item where order item id order underscore item id and here the uh, not the order status here it will come like item status we are sending there uh, from their item status okay like this and here we are going to mention order item status has been updated successfully okay so now here we also mention update order item status like this so we are going to try now uh, let's refresh and we are going to try to update like uh, the vendor will update the status for this one to pending see admin can also update see pending okay we need to add the orders product uh, not found uh, here we need to uh, add the orders product as well orders product like this okay so now uh, we will try uh, to update the status once again see i'm going to refresh here and we'll try to update to pending click update and here it's again showing the issue it is saying that item status is not there we are going to see uh, item status uh, why it is showing the issue order item id here name is the order status here it will come like order item status okay not the order status this is not the order status this is the order item underscore status okay so make sure that we are using the same here uh, here order item status uh, order item uh, item status or we can simply mention the item status okay uh, item status or order items or ne we need to update here here or we can update here like order underscore item status okay order underscore item status so now we are going to try once again i'm going back refresh let's see we'll update to pending update and this time order item status has been updated successfully and we can check here the uh, status is pending so it is working fine okay so the admin can able to update the status to the pending for this one and he can able to update in process for this one see admin can also do these things okay but now we are going to log in from the vendor okay so vendor is going to log in uh, this time uh, see uh, we are going to uh, log in from the vendor account let's see uh, here so we are going to log in uh, from one of the vendor like this vendor we are going to log in from this vendor and we'll see his orders i'm going to log out from here and I'm going to log in from the vendor account uh one see vendor will not log in from here vendor will log in from the front he does not have this one he will log in from this one vendor login and he will log in from here uh one two three four five six vendor will able to assess his own order not all the orders but his own orders see i'm going not now orders management he will click on orders and only two orders are there okay see there are five orders total but other orders is not visible to this vendor because this vendor can only see his own orders okay so he will click on this one and see he can able see we are going to disable this one for the vendor okay uh, we will just give uh, uh, he can able to update see these are the vendor items so he can able to update these one okay and also we are going to see uh, like uh, bt501 see only one item belongs to this vendor see another item does not belong to this vendor so we are going to compare and will show only the item that belongs to this particular vendor okay we are going to see that see okay so what we are going to see uh, we're going to do we're going to open the orders blade file where we have added the another condition as well so we are going to add the condition here as well okay uh, here uh, see we have added the condition uh we can see here the condition see uh we need to see uh like uh, we have added the condition here you can see like we are only having the order products uh, that belongs to that particular vendor id okay so in the order detail as well uh when uh when we fetch the details of the order we need to make sure like if vendor is going to assess then vendor can only able to see his own products okay so uh, like we are going to do this thing 
and also we will add this one like in case the vendor is going to assess and also this one order details because order we are going to assess and uh, if in case the vendor is not approved then he can't see the details okay we will mention this one and after that see if the uh, admin type is vendor so this one is also important if the admin type is vendor then uh, we are going to fetch the uh, orders of the vendors okay uh, and here we will add the condition like this else this one and uh, this order details i am going to uh, cut from here and this one for the admin and this one for the vendor and for vendor uh, we will only show uh, the uh, I'm going to copy this one this one uh, from here it will save our time okay this complete uh, with uh, I'm going to copy this one and will paste here after order uh, okay so that it will save our time okay now see uh, only it will display those products that belongs to that particular vendor okay so now i'm going to check here let's refresh and here you can see only one item is visible you can see the another item is not visible here so there are two items in this order but only one item is visible to this vendor because this vendor belongs to this uh, item only this vendor can able to update uh, the status for this particular item only so that's why okay so uh, see we have already updated the query so to see the vendor products only see vendor can able to update uh, to uh, see only his own item and also he can't able to assess this one uh, so for this uh, we will simply add admin type there in order details in this section uh, update order status here we can add uh, here like uh, if admin type equal to equal to is not equal to vendor uh, okay uh, then only he can able to assess otherwise uh, in else we are going to mention this uh, uh, okay this is restricted uh, like uh, this feature is restricted this feature is restricted okay so we are going to see here uh admin type is not equal to vendor here it is giving some issue uh, it is saying admin type is not there yeah it is saying correct thing because we have not passed that admin type here uh, okay uh, either we need to pass that or we can simply check from the auth okay so there are two things we can uh, i think we can simply check from the auth here yeah, like this one uh, okay we can try it like this and i think it will work fine okay you can see the feature is restricted okay this feature is restricted he can't update but uh, he can able to update the item status okay so he can uh, he will try to update the item status here in process update so you can see the order item status has been updated successfully in process he is updated by the vendor okay but he can't able to update the order update uh, that complete status as a whole okay so this feature belongs to the uh, particular vendor so in next video uh, we will do more uh, about the orders okay uh, so please stay tuned for the next video and always subscribe and join the channel to get the complete source code so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye